guys and welcome back to part six of my designs. Um pretty awesome one now. It's not too fast, a bit uncontrollable. Uh but I will I am finding new and new images of designs. So if you guys have any better designs, I think this is pretty good. I try to get speed so thrust and stuff like that and also keeping a nice awesome design to it so my ideas are in design so I like to make it awesome I don't like to make a random ship even though it's random and ugly okay it's not that ugly it's alright okay no dissing it please <laughs> but <laughs> it flies that's the main thing so it runs on rockets the rocket max the big ones you might say and two fuels the big ones fuel tanks Okay, so let's begin. Alright, uh, so at the start you want to try to get it up in the air. Just gotta get it a bit high. Okay, and you press T, so SAS is on. The speed will start going up. So it's gonna start overheating, like I just said. So you just turn it down a little bit. Because it is rockets really close together, uh, together as you can see. So you need to watch out for that. You don't want that to happen at all. So I also put these because it will increase the thrust thrust I believe yeah yeah so if I just had this at the top in real life and if I just never had that it would just go weird and crazy so you actually kind of need a bump at the front because the air pressure won't be as bad so yeah that increases your speed so we have a speed of 500 meters per second it's pretty good it's increasing at a very high rate but our fuel is decreasing at a very high rate so that makes quite a bit of sense so you can't turn it for too long because if you turn it for too much it starts becoming uncontrollable and we don't want that so look at the speed um, hopefully we can... no 1500 meters was our speed I can always make this design better but I like it because it's pretty fast and also I can always change it so if I want to add less stuff like I can always fix it up like my some of my other designs but I am working on something pretty awesome uh, this person told me to make a space station which I'm looking forward to I already created it just to say and it's looking pretty good brings a lot of lag to my computer so I have to use my brothers which is much better than mine um, because he upgraded it and stuff like that just for this game because it it says minimum requirement requirements is low but if you be build big stuff more than most computers like if you have a computer really bad one maybe the max is 600 oh, six, 60 to 80 on low graphics maybe less uh, but this one works well so let me go through that design well, it's not here it's in the plane section so what exactly it is is wings and fuel and stuff so I can always change it if I wanted I can just like grab this double it so I always wanted to do something like that so I'm actually going to do that as well so it's actually going to change a little bit but ooh. Do you want to try this? <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Let's just move these quickly. Um, yeah. So we have to get these in the right order. Yep, yep, yep. Put these here. All good. So let's begin. So we'll try that. So you can always do different kinds of setups for your designs if you want to make it... Uh, the, I don't know why I have act wheels because it is in the air. Before it wasn't. I was actually... Tr oh, wow. Well. <laughs> I was actually trying to fly it without it. Like without these strut holders, whatever you call them. Stability... Wait, what is it? Uh, a launch stability... Stability... And something... I can't even see it anymore. Well, that's fine. Let's begin. Oh wow, that's really unepic. Actually, I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, 
Do you want to land it? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No. So as you can see, by changing the design just by that much, um, it makes a big difference. So anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed. Leave a like, rating, comment, and I'll see you next time.